Hello and welcome to episode number 37 of WITM Season 5. And it is Wednesday night, which means it is time for NXT, the Go Home NXT before NXT TakeOver Phoenix on Saturday night, where AI Master will defend the NXT North American Championship. The question is, against who? There are one of two scenarios as to who AI Master faces on Saturday with the NXT North American title on the line. Either A, Kona Reeves wins this non-title matchup tonight, then gets a rematch on Saturday for the NXT North American Championship against Ayat Master. Or, and this is where things get very interesting, folks, scenario number two, Ayat Master defeats Kona Reeves tonight in a non-title victory, and then on Saturday faces WITM's newest member, Aaron Danger, for the NXT North American Championship. That's right, there is a very real possibility since the game already put Aaron Danger at number two in the rankings for the NXT North American title that Aaron Danger will, in his first night as a WWE Superstar, challenge AOT Master for the NXT North American Championship. So, of course, he'll be paying very close attention to this match. If AOT Master wins, AOT Master versus Aaron Danger for the NXT North American title on Saturday. If Kona Reeves wins, AOT Master versus Kona Reeves for the NXT North American title on Saturday. This match has huge implications for, of course, not just one, but two WITA members. Let's get it loading up. We have a great match coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. All right, so these two men have gone back and forth. Kona Reeves is actually one of the few superstars that has been able to pin a master during his NXT North American Championship reign, one of the few superstars, the other being Keith Lee. That's kind of had AI Master's number since he joined WITM. But AI Master, for the most part, has been dominant lately. He comes in with a record of 11, 9, and 2. In third place, still not completely out of the hunt for first place in the WITM 5 standings before WrestleMania. But I definitely can't afford to take many more losses if he's going to be considered. He, right now, he currently sits about 10% behind the current second placement, Dalton Roush. So let's go ahead and get the matches loaded up. Let's go ahead and get it underway and get to the entrances. Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing in at 250. 
Jesse Powell. Nobody told you I'm the finest. You don't respect me, you're just mindless. Everything I touch becomes timeless. Oh, now I want the gold and the diamonds. Nobody told you I'm the finest. You don't respect me, you're just spineless. Everything I touch becomes timeless. Oh, yeah, I want the gold and the diamonds. The finer things. I want the finest things. Give me the finest things like 10 milli mansion on a hilltop. Helipad on the roof. Gold roll the ice and I'm still hot. Kona Reeves is the truth. Nobody told you I'm the finest. You don't respect me, you're just mindless. Everything I touch becomes timeless. Oh, now I want the gold and the diamonds. Nobody told you I'm the finest. You don't respect me, you're just spineless. Everything I touch becomes timeless. As we get underway, I'm expecting a hard fought match between And these here two we go. Superstars. There's the bow. This match is underway. Huge implications in this match. Conan Reeves in control of his own destiny. If he can earn another non title victory over Ayat Master here, he will challenge Ayat Master for the NXT North American Championship this Saturday at TakeOver Phoenix. If Ayat Master wins, he will instead challenge the debuting Aaron Danger this Saturday. At He's take over Phoenix. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. Breeze plunges Ayat Master into the top turnbuckle, but there's Ayat Master with that massive power he has. Back body drop neck breaker. There's a stomp to the head. Ayat Master trying to go to work on the legs of Kona Reese, but shoved aside and reversed. Ayat Master with a reversal of his own. Which kick to the chest. Ayat Master going into mounted here, punches. Kona Reeves especially considering who he's not quite able to block them. Now Reeves forced to his feet. And reverses with a gut punch and an elbow strike. Goes for a close up and that barely phases Ayat Master. Ash up into the ropes. Ash up into the corner. Kona Reeves is able to evade, but Ayat Master picks him up and connects with a massive scoop slam into cover. And Kona Reeves powers out immediately. And if you're Ayat Master, you probably want to take your chances facing a newcomer and Aaron Danger rather than Kona Reeves, who has defeated Ayat Master. On two separate thing, occasions. Changes here. There's no so way I'm not sure. This match if he most likely want to pick up the win here and face Aaron Danger rather than Kona Reeves at Takeover Phoenix. Oh, what impact! To have the best chance. Uh, go up against a opponent he He's that hasn't been. Real nicely done. I can't believe he's seen that. powers out at one. Oh. Reeves is going to head to the outside and try to recollect himself here. Now it's Reeves showing off some power of his own. There's a stomp to the arm. He's starting to stumble. Now Matt punches by Kona Reeves. Let's recover. One up. He's looking for the win. Yeah, I don't believe that, that, that he didn't win this and match right Master there. Powers out at about power one and a half. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. The yeah, yeah, Master targeting the arm of Reeves. Like just hit a wall. Going for a punch. Yeah, Reeves reverses and hits one of his own. Yeah, Master reverses. There's a gut kick. Maybe going for a signature maneuver here. Indeed, he is. That this one is punch over. straight to the head of Kona Reeves. Goes for cover. You can't teach the type Very nearly here. ends Kona Unreal. Reeves. He title to hopes. He, fast, yeah, Master Police, he got a three count there. But the referee says no. This match is going Great to continue. And Reeves reverses the gun stun. Keeping his hopes alive. Had the gun stun hit, that would have likely... Ben lights out for Kona like Reeves. Squeeze, it's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Beautiful technique. And Master drags Reeves closer to her center ring. Be careful not to get disqualified. Double leg drop to the groin area of Reeves. Reeves is able to avoid the kick and oh, he Master reverses and as of right now is in control. I'm sure Aaron Danger is in gorilla position watching closely, liking what he's seeing right now. Oh wow, I'm just as surprised. There's a second signature are. maneuver by Ayat Master. 
He goes for the cover. Goes for cover. Ayat Master defeats Kona Reeves. And all it looks like we are going to see Aaron Danger debut in a title match against Ayat Master for the NXT North American Championship. Man, oh man, look at that. Addictions, why won't you let me out? I need a way to separate it, but I promise you that I'll make sure you never forget me. Now that you want it, now that you need it, I'm too far gone. You're trying to play them, but I'm not breaking. I'm killing. Surprise, you can't do anything now. And there you have it, Aaron Danger appearing in a WWE NXT ring for the first time, confronting his opponent on Saturday at NXT TakeOver Phoenix. It will be Ayat Master versus Aaron Danger, WITA member versus WITA member for the NXT North American Championship. That will be a great match. And let's make it official by doing our rankings update following this edition of NXT. We'll show you what else transpired on NXT as well. Johnny Gargano defeated Alistair Black. Keith Lee defeated Dominic Djokovic. War Raiders picked up a non-title victory over the NXT Tag Team Champions, the Forgotten Sons. And Ayat Master ended Kona Reeves' hopes at a title shot paving the way for Aaron Danger to get the title opportunity this Saturday at TakeOver Phoenix instead. And let's check out our rankings update following this edition of NXT. The NXT women were not in action, but will recap their rankings anyway. The champions Kyrie Sane, number one contender Dakota Kai, number two China Rikansi, Number three, Lacey Evans. Number four, Aaliyah. Number five, Shayna Baszler. Number six, Nikki Cross. Number seven, Candice LeRae. Number eight, Vanessa Bourne. Number nine, Mia Yim. Number ten, Diana Perrazzo. Number eleven, Bianca Belair. Number twelve, Jessamyn Duke. Number thirteen, Marina Shafir. Number fourteen, Io Shirai. In the NXT Tag Team Division, 
the War Raiders defeat Forgotten Sons. War Raiders remain number one contenders. Forgotten Sons remain champions. They'll likely face off for the title at TakeOver Phoenix. Number two is the B-Team. Or, sorry, not the B-Team. I don't know why the game lists them as that, but Birch and Lorcan, rather. Number three, the Street Profits. Number four, Heavy Machinery. And number five, the Undisputed Era. In the NXT North American Championship Division, Keith Lee defeated Dominic Djokovic. They swapped spots. Lee to number six, Djokovic to number seven. Ant Master defeated Kona Reeves. Kona Reeves falls to number two, and that confirms that at on Saturday at NXT TakeOver Phoenix, Ant Master will defend the NXT North American Championship against the debuting Aaron Danger. What a way to debut for Aaron Danger, getting a title opportunity in his very first match. Number two is Kona Reeves. Number three, Cassius Sono. Number four, Adam Cole. Number five, Matt Riddle. Number six, Keith Lee. Number seven, Dominic Djokovic. Number eight, Punishment Martinez. Number nine, Marcel Barthel. And the NXT Championship Division. Johnny Gargano defeated Alistair Black. Black falls to number four. Gargano remains number one contender. The XC champions Ricochet, number one contender Johnny Gargano, number two Velveteen Dream, number three Tommaso Ciampa, number four Alistair Black, and number five EC3. Now we move on to main event, but before we do, I'm going to copy this file because I'm probably going to need to put Takeover Phoenix and... Royal Rumble access for the Worlds Collide Tournament and main event slot and one of the saves in order to make everything work. There we go. Now let's move on to Raw's Minor Show main event. Corey is nearly eligible to compete on main events, but not quite, and Dalton Roush is Universal Champion, so obviously he's not eligible, so we will sim. And get you your results and rankings update for main events. Apollo Crews, Fia, Noe, Jose. Also, welcome to our viewer that's been watching for a little while. B-Team defeats Slater and Rhino. And Tyler Breeze defeats Tedis O'Neill. And how does this affect the rankings on Raw? Let's find out. Uh, I should probably go into the right menu. There we go. And the Raw Tag Team Division, the B-Team defeated Slater and Rhino. B-Team become number one contenders. Slater and Rhino fall to number six. The Raw Tag Team Champions are the Ascension. Number one contenders, the B-Team. Number two, the Revival. Number three, Authors of Pain. Number four, Rude and Gable. Number five, the House Party. And number six, he's Slater and Rhino. In the Ericano Championship Division, Apollo Crews defeated No Way Jose. They swap spots. Cruz to number six. Jose to number seven. Tyler Breeze defeated Tedis O'Neill. Tyler Breeze, an unlikely new number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship. Could he be the man to finally end Bobby Lashley's reign? Tedis O'Neill falls to number 11. The Intercontinental Champion is Bobby Lashley. Number one contender, Tyler Breeze. Number two, Seth Rollins. Number three, Dolph Ziggler. Number four, Mojo Raleigh. Number five, Corey. Number six, Apollo Crews. Number seven, Noe Jose. Number eight, Jinder Mahal. Number nine, Dean Ambrose. Number ten, Elias. Number eleven, Titus O'Neil. Number twelve, Kurt Hawkins. Number thirteen, Zack Ryder. And that's where we're going to end the episode because our next stream will be on Saturday. It will feature NXT TakeOver Phoenix, where we now know that AAT Masters NXT North American Championship Defense will be against the debuting Aaron Danger, our new 6th WIT member, earning a title opportunity in his very first WITM match on Royal Rumble weekend at TakeOver Phoenix. We will also have the Worlds Collide Tournament that Aaron Danger 
is also scheduled to be a part of, and the winner of that tournament gets to choose between an NXT Championship, United Kingdom Championship, or a Cruiserweight Championship matchup. And then, of course, on Sunday is the Royal Rumble pay-per-view itself. That card will feature Dalton Roush defending the Universal title against Brock Lesnar, Andrew defending the Cruiserweight title in a Fatal 4-Way against Leo Rush, Mike Kanellis, and Drew Gulak, and Corey and Gerald, and depending on what happens on Saturday, possibly a Master in the 30-male Royal Rumble with the winner getting their choice of either a WWE title shot or a Universal title shot at WrestleMania. But that was going to do it for tonight's stream. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single WITM stream or post. Check out the links in the description. The first is the WITM website. That's how you can find out how to do as AOT Master and Aaron Danger did and become a WIT member for free with your own custom character, with custom movesets, storylines, promos, etc. Check out the WIT team Twitter for all the latest WIT news and updates. I'm going to be posting the official Royal Rumble car weekend cards and schedule on there shortly, so keep an eye out for that. And so episode number 38, which will be Saturday night at 11.30, I think 11.30. I'm not sure. I better double check and see if it's 11.30 or 11. 11.30. At 11.30 Eastern on Saturday night is going to be NXT TakeOver Phoenix and the World's Collide Tournament. TakeOver Phoenix will have AOT Master versus Aaron Danger for the NXT North American title. The World's Collide Tournament will have Aaron Danger and it's representing NXT. Until then, this is Corey with WITM Car Wrestling, signing off.